Do you know it's story time, story time, story time? Do you know it's story time in our classroom today? The title of this story is Too Many Tamales by Gary Soto and Ed Martinez. In the story, we're going to see two vocabulary words. We're going to see the word need. Can you say that word with me? Need. Need is when you form and mix dough together and you push your arms up and down to make a ball. That is called need. Our next word is ring. Can you say that word with me? Ring. A ring is a type of jewelry that you wear on your fingers. Ring. So friends, a few days ago, we read this story before, Too Many Tamales, together. You may remember that it tells the story of a girl named Maria who helps her mom make tamales for their family celebration. When her mom leaves her diamond ring on the kitchen counter, Maria decides to borrow it. What happens to her mom's ring? Who can remember what she did to try and find the ring? Why do you think the book is called Too Many Tamales? Let Miss Casty know. Okay, let's begin our story. Too Many Tamales. Snow drifted through the streets and now that it was dusk, Christmas trees glittered the windows. Maria moved her nose off the glass and came back to the counter. She was acting grown up now, helping her mother make tamales. Their hands were sticky with masa. That's very good, her mother said. Maria happily kneaded the masa. There's our word, knead. She is forming the dough with her hands. She's pumping up and down. She felt grown up wearing her mother's apron. Her mom had even let her wear lipstick and perfume. If only I could wear mom's ring, she thought to herself. And there's our vocabulary word. Ring, a type of jewelry that you wear on your finger. Maria's mother had placed her diamond ring on the kitchen counter. Maria loved that ring. She loved how it sparkled like their Christmas tree lights. When her mother left the kitchen to answer the phone, Maria couldn't help herself. She wiped her hands on the apron and looked back at the door. I'll wear the ring for just a minute, she said to herself. The ring sparkled so much. Maria returned to kneading the masa, her hands pumping up and down. On her thumb, the ring disappeared, then reappeared in a sticky glob of dough. Her mother returned and took the bowl from her. Go get your father for this part, she said. Then the three of them began to spread the masa onto corn husks. Maria's father helped by plopping a spoonful of meat in the center and folding the husk. He then placed them in a large pot on the stove. They made 24 tamales as the windows grew white with delicious smelling curls of steam. Mm. A few hours later, the family came over with armfuls of bright presents. Her grandparents, her uncles and aunts, her cousins Dolores and Teresa and Danny. Maria kissed everyone hello. Then she grabbed Dolores by the arm and took her upstairs to play, with the other cousins tagging along after them. They cut out pictures from the newspaper, pictures of toys they were hoping were wrapped and sitting underneath the Christmas tree. As Maria was snipping out a picture of a pearl necklace, a shock spread through her body. <gasps> the ring! she screamed. 
everyone stared at her. What ring? Dolores asked. Without answering, Maria ran to the kitchen. The steaming tamales lay piled on a platter. The ring is inside one of the tamales, she thought to herself. It must have come off when I was kneading the masa. Dolores, Teresa, and Danny skidded into the kitchen behind her. So friends, Maria's cousins follow her into the kitchen where they see the plate full of tamales. When Maria asks them to help her eat the tamales, what do you think her cousins are thinking? Look at their face. They see this big plate of tamales. What do you think they are thinking? Help me, Maria cried. They looked at each other. Danny piped up first. What do you want us to do? Eat them, she said. If you bite something hard, tell me. So what do you think they are thinking, friends? They have to eat all of these tamales, 24 tamales. <sighs> Let Miss Cassie know. The four of them started eating. They ripped off the husks and bit into them. The first one was good. The second one, pretty good. But by the third tamale, they were tired of the taste. Keep eating, Maria scolded. Corn husks littered the floor. Their stomachs were stretched full till they hurt. But the cousins kept eating until only one tamale remained on the plate. This must be it, she said. The ring must be in that one. We'll each take a bite. You first, Donnie. Donnie was the youngest, so he didn't argue. He took a bite. Nothing. Dolores took a bite. Nothing. Teresa took a big bite. Still, nothing. It was Maria's turn. She took a deep breath and slowly, gently bit into the last mouthful of tamale. Nothing! Didn't any of you bite something hard? Maria asked. Danny frowned. Oh, I think I swallowed something hard, he said. Swallowed it, Maria cried, her eyes big with worry. She looked inside his mouth. Teresa said, mm, I didn't bite into anything hard, but I think I'm sick. She held her stomach with both hands. Maria didn't dare look into Teresa's mouth. She wanted to throw herself onto the floor and cry. This ring was now in her cousin's throat, or worse, his belly. <gasps> How in the world could she tell her mother? But I have to, she thought. She could feel tears pressing to get out as she walked into the living room where the grown-ups sat talking. They chattered so loudly that Maria didn't know how to interrupt. Finally, she tugged on her mother's sleeve. So friends, why does Maria tell her mother about the ring even though she might get in trouble? Why do you think she will tell her mom about the ring even though it might get her in trouble? Let Miss Cassie know. Let's keep going. What's the matter? Her mother asked. She took Maria's hand. I did something wrong, Maria sobbed. What? Her mother asked. Maria thought about the beautiful ring that was now sitting inside Danny's belly and got ready to confess to tell the truth. Then she gasped. <gasps> the ring was on her mother's finger. Bright as ever. The ring, Maria nearly screamed. Maria's mother scraped off a flake of dried masa. You were playing with it, she said, smiling gently. So what does Maria's mom say when Maria confesses and tells her about the ring and the tamales? What do you think Maria's mom is thinking? Let's see, she's telling her mom here. I wanted to wear it, Maria said, looking down at the rug. 
Then she told them all about how they'd eaten the tamales. Her mother moved the ring a little on her finger. It winked a silvery light. Maria looked up and Aunt Rosa winked at her too. So what do you think Maria's mom is thinking here? When she told her, I, I took the ring and I thought I lost it. Let Miss Cassie know. Well, it looks like we all have to cook up another batch of tamales, Rosa said cheerfully. And Aunt Rosa listens to Maria and then comes up with the solution to the problem of the tamales. What is Aunt Rosa's solution? What is she telling Maria to do here? Let me know. Let's keep going. Maria held her full stomach as everyone filed into the kitchen, joking and laughing. At first, she felt, still felt like crying as she needed a great bowl of masa next to Aunt Rosa. As she pumped her hands up and down, a leftover tear fell from her eyelashes into the bowl and for just a second rested on her finger like a sparkling jewel. Then Rosa nudged her with her elbow and said, Hey, Nina, it's not so bad. Everyone knows that the second batch of tamales always tastes better than the first, right? When Dolores, Teresa, and Danny heard that from the other side of the room, they let off a groan the size of 24 tamales. Oh! Then Maria couldn't help herself. She laughed, and pretty soon everyone else was laughing, including her mother. And when Maria put her hands back into the bowl of masa, the leftover tear was gone. So friends, I have some questions that I'm wondering about the story. In this picture, I wonder why Maria's mom is already wearing the diamond ring when Maria tries to tell her what happened. Where do you think Maria's mom found the ring? Let Miss Cassie know. And I also want to know that Maria knows that the right thing to do is tell her mom the truth, right? She went to her mommy and she knew that the right thing to do was tell her mom the truth. What do you think would have happened if Maria had lied about the ring? If she kept it a secret? What do you think would have happened if Maria lied about her mom's ring and didn't tell her? Let Miss Cassie know. I hope you enjoyed our story, Too Many Tamales. Until next time, friends, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.